Hi guys, my name is Mohammad Shahzad and you're watching my YouTube channel. Today we will see how we can make a bootable USB for any operating system like Windows or Windows Server, Windows 10, Windows 11. So you must have one USB key with you drive where you can want to make it bootable. So first thing is you must have uh, this software I will go and type Rufus enter and this official website is RUFUS Rufus you will go here click and here Rufus you will download for your Windows okay we'll click here and we'll download this Rufus software close the ads we will download this Rufus it is downloading already here and it will be download okay it's downloaded already so if you go you have this Rufus with you I'll cut and bring it into my softwares folder here we have paste okay so you need a Rufus and you must need a operating system with you it is ISO file this one if I go properties and show you this is a ISO format and you will have your window this is my uh, server evaluation edition but you can use your Windows 10 or Windows 11 this one okay so we the third thing is we must have a USB in our uh, computer we already put it the USB here so I'll go back on my Rufus I will double click on that Rufus here and it will open here click yes and we'll go yes if there is update it will go update okay now it is open my Rufus here so this is the Rufus it will automatically detect the drive which is USB drive or 64 GB and here we can select our ISO it's your Windows ISO wherever you put it you can select it here I have my ISO here in my softwares I will use my Windows iOS okay everything should be default and if you are supporting with MBR BIOS and UEFI you can use that one and if it is GPT UEFI most of the uh, servers and operating systems and the hardware is supported so it's uh, detected now I will just click start and uh, it will ask uh, click OK customize there are other things no need make it default <coughs> OK it will ask this operation will erase all the data on the USB if you don't have any data just click OK otherwise copy your data first and then if you, that's important or, uh, you can then use the USB I just click OK so it start deleting uh, the data and now it's creating the bootable device for us so after completing this bootable drive we can use it for installation on the server or we can install operating workstations so it will take a little time and then it will tell us that the device is ready for the installation it will take a little time and then after that when you say ready you can close and eject your USB then it's completed so this is the 
simple and easiest way how to make a bootable CD or oh, sorry the bootable USB drive for Windows or uh, any other operating system to install on another hardware thank you very much if you like my video please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for upcoming videos